a cricket team representing England toured Australia in the 1932-33 season. The tour was organised by the Marylebone Cricket Club and matches outside the tests were played under the MCC name. The tour included five test matches in Australia, and England won the Ashes by four games to one. The tour was highly controversial because of the bodyline bowling tactics used by the England team under the captaincy of Douglas Jardine. After the Australian tour was over, the MCC team moved on to play in New Zealand, where two further test matches were played. The England team photographed before the Adelaide test back row, George Duckworth, Tommy Mitchell, Nawab of Pataudi, Maurice Leyland, Harold Larwood, Eddie Painter, W. Ferguson middle row, Pelham Warner. Lay Ames, Headley Verity, Bill Voce, Bill Bowes, Freddie Brown, Maurice State, R. C. N. Pay Lyart. Front row, Herbert Sutcliffe, Bob Wyatt, Douglas Jardine, Gubby Allen, Wally Hammond. The MCC team was captained by Douglas Jardine, with Bob Wyatt as vice captain. Pelham Warner and Richard Pay Lyart were joint managers. The team members were Walter Robbins and Kumar Shri Duleep Sinji were invited to tour, but declined to do so, the latter because of ill health. An easy victory for England, with Bradman absent for Australia. McKay provided Australia's only significant resistance with the bat, Larwood claimed 10 match wickets. Patati's century on test debut was to be his sole test century, and he was dropped after the second test due to his dissent against bodyline tactics. Dot. Bradman is bold first ball. December 30, 1932 On his return, Bradman was bowled first ball in the first innings when expecting a bouncer, Fingleton was left to hold Australia's first innings together. Nonetheless, an unbeaten century for Bradman in the second innings, and 10 wickets for O'Reilly, granted Australia their only victory of the Test Series. The match best known for body line, with Woodfull receiving a blow to the chest and Oldfield a fractured skull from Larwood's hostile fast bowling. Larwood took seven wickets in the match, but the principal wicket-taker was Allen, who took four in either innings despite his notable descent against bodyline. A match best remembered for the heroism of Painter, who despite spending much of the match in hospital with severe tonsillitis, scored 83 in the first innings, and won the match with a six in the second. Advertisement for the Bellevue Hotel, where the English team stayed during the fourth test fine performances from both sides middle orders led to approximate parity after the first innings. Hammond and Larwood in particular batted excellently, Larwood, promoted to number 4 as a night watchman, scored the then highest innings ever made in that role. Bradman and Woodfull shared a partnership of 115 in Australia's second innings before Verity induced a collapse, and Wyatt and Hammond experienced little difficulty in reaching a target of 164, with Hammond in particularly belligerent form. The English team had a stopover in Colombo en route to Australia and played a one-day single innings match there against the Salon national team, which at that time did not have test status. For details of the tactics involved in bodyline bowling, see the bodyline article. Thanks for watching.